understand. You got to encompass within yourself what is your biggest fear on a day to day basis. So we're going to start here in this scripture. In Genesis chapter 4, verse 7. And you notice we're going to use the Bible. The King James Version. I'm going to give you a minute to turn. I'll give you a minute of hope that we find it on your phone. Or I'll give you a minute of hope that I put it up there. I got you. Amen. 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 Genesis 4, verse 7. That's an interesting story here within the Bible. Amen. That helps us to understand fear. And we may not even look at it that, that way. Oh, Lord, See, right. in Genesis 4, verse 7. Well, you know, I had part of it up there. Ain't the Lord good? I this is what he said. He says, he was talking to Cain. Cain and Abel were two brothers. And one of them uh, took care of the grain, corn, and one took care of the animals. Amen. And Cain and Abel was supposed to give an offering unto the Lord. All right. Are you hear me? Amen. Offering. Well, when Abel gave his offering unto the Lord, the Lord was pleased with his offering. Because in studying and reading, you believe that he gave the best of what he had. First of whatever it was. But Cain, when Cain gave offering unto the Lord. I always said he must have been related to my folks. Tight. You ever had some people that were tight in your family? Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, you ever looked in the mirror and said you tight too? Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. All right. <coughs> this is what God said. <coughs> If thou doest well, if, what a mighty big word, Amen. Amen. thou doest well, shall thou not be accepted. Amen. Well, here's what the problem was. God accepted what Abel gave, was pleased with it. But obviously, just at this part of the scripture, this is not all of it, just at this part of the scripture, Cain didn't do it. Mm -hmm. He tried to fool God. Ooh, hello, somebody. He said, you understand, God. You know how my situation is, God. Oh, he, he wasn't related to none of y'all, I mean. Maybe he's related to some of you Facebook people. <laughs> Other words, Cain did not do well in his giving to the Lord. I'm not talking about this voluntary. I'm talking about Cain operated out of fear. Fear, this is what the Lord put in our spirit. He must have had fear. I don't want to give too much of what I got. I only got so much. He was afraid that he wasn't going to have enough for himself. He operated out of what? Fear. Fear. That's what he gave his attention to. He says, I'm going to give you an offering, God. I don't have a problem, but I'll keep it this for me. How much he kept for him, the Bible doesn't tell us. But the Spirit of the Lord is making me understand that because of his fear in giving too much or uh, what he had to give, y'all know how we are? This is my best. I, I can't be giving my best. This is all I have. Come on, people. Mm -hmm. Y'all don't want to admit you tight <laughs> when it comes to the Lord. Yep. He operated out of fear. So God had to tell him, like he said with us, if you do well, you shall be what? Accepted. And to be accepted by God is a wonderful thing. To be accepted. It, to hear my mother say, that's a good 
good job. That's a wonderful thing. I used to love to hear that. So here my mama had my arms open. I said, come here, baby. And she would hold me in a bosom. That was a great feeling. Anybody know that feeling? Yeah. Yep. That's what it's like when God, when God says you have been accepted. That gives you a spiritual uplifting to know that it's all right. That it's all right. And then that fear goes if you're moved to support this ministry, you can do so through Cash App at dollar sign Living Witness MC or through Tithely on our website at livingwitnessmissionarychurch.com. Click on the gift in the top right corner of the homepage. Thank you for watching and God bless.